In this lesson, we'll look at edit text widgets. Edit texts are widgets that allow users to enter text data. We've already seen them in use when we looked at layout types. There are several different types of edit text tailored for different uses. So let's start with a plain text widget, and then we'll follow up with some other types. And we're going to be putting in a text property so we can see which one is which. And we'll put in a date. And you can see already there's not any validation, at least at design time, for what you can enter into these widgets. And that actually is the case at runtime as well. The only real difference is how the keyboard reacts. So now we've got an email. and a number. And a password. And you can see the password characters are hidden. And finally we'll add a phone type. So let's see how these look at runtime. Here's my plain text box, and you can see that I have an alphabetic keyboard. When I put the focus on the date, I become primarily a numeric keyboard. With the email, it's an alphabetic keyboard, but it has the at symbol in it. For a number type, it has a numeric keyboard. For password, it's back to alphabet, but as we talked about, the characters are hidden. And then the phone type, you end up with a phone keyboard. So that's what those look like. Now let's look at accessing them in code. We'll add a button to this view so that we can have an event for when the user enters some text and we'll go to the activity and we'll add code for our controls and we'll add a button handler that will handle the click event of the button and all we're doing in the click event is just getting the string variable from the edit text text property. And we'll put a breakpoint right there to see how that looks. So we'll type some random text into our text box and click our button and wait until it hits the breakpoint and there it is and you can see that our text property did indeed get the user entry